home, or go to the append button, look for whatever the RCP or RCS file that there is. If you look in here, it does say Autodesk Recap or Recap Project. Just hit open, point cloud should pop up. Uh, under the selection tree, if you don't have the selection tree, just go to the view, go to Windows. Uh, you'll want to turn on, on the Clash Detective, the selection tree, and then properties just to see the properties of the, the object. So I'll go to selection tree, uh, and then I'll pick this uh, RCP that I have, this file. <coughs> so it's showing the full RCP over here in the properties box, but uh, if I just select a portion of it, it says that it's a, vo a vocal, voxel. And so basically, it basically takes the whole point cloud and kind of separates it out into these little segments that it's going to use for clash detection, so that way it's not clashing against certain portions of it. Uh, from there, what we can do... Alright, so what else you're going to do is you're going to append, you're going to bring in another drawing that you want to check a clash with. So I have this other one called Mechanical 2. Uh, this one has a bunch of polylines and has uh, some 3D solids in here. That's what we're going to clash against. Uh, I'm going to click on the uh, Add Test button at the top. And I'm going to say Add Test. And then on the left side, I'll say, let's do the mechanical room that has the solids and the polyline. You can see it's selected. And then I'll do the, um, the mechanical room with the point cloud. And if you expand it, it, you can see it already has the voxels already created. So those are automatic. You can't specify which ones you want. Uh, the key here is to turn on these three options. So this one's for solid surfaces. This one's for line work to check against. And this is for points. Since we're using a point cloud, we definitely want to check it against the points. We also want to change the type to be clearance. Uh, and then we're going to put it down to around, uh, let's say, 0.04. Should probably be a good one. And I'll say run test. Uh, it'll run through it real quick, and then it'll give me a result of my clashes. So then I can walk through each of the clashes and figure out if this is a real hard clash or not. So uh, that's pretty much how you do it inside of Navisworks. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope you had a good